Hey everybody, this is Nick from Mecca Warehouse and uh, today I'm back with weekly update number 18. So uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna go right into week in review and uh, that's the section of this video where I talk about kind of what's been going on, what will be going on. I probably need a better name for it. Uh, but anyway, week in review. Uh, first off, the uh, I mentioned the website last week. The website is really close now. I, I happen to have a lot of time this week and uh, made a ton of progress. I'm just waiting on a couple little things that I need to get, uh, little details I need to get worked out. Um, but we should be good to go potentially in the next week or two, hopefully. Uh, fingers crossed that that ends up being true, but I'm really excited about the new website. So hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, let's see. Then a few really minor, really small uh, projects the, uh, in the warehouse this past weekend. The, uh, the shelves and all that stuff are up. Uh, we actually spent a little bit of time reorganizing, and by we, I mean my wife basically did all the work, reorganizing uh, some of our backup stock for our Vallejo paints. We did the same thing with Tamiya like a month ago, and it's gonna help hopefully restocking shelves and just keeping all that stuff more organized as, uh, as we get more of that stuff in. Not that anybody really cares, but uh, something we did. And uh, let's see other things here real quick the uh, last week we had the uh, the display restock and I wanted to point out and kind of thank everybody that was I think our the Friday was our uh, busiest non-sale day I think we've ever had which I think just comes down to the fact of how how popular those products are and uh, we sold out of some things like those table vices were actually sold out before our video even aired last week, which is crazy as we're definitely getting a whole bunch more. So hopefully we'll, we will have more stock of that in the near future. And, uh, but that, that was crazy. So, so thank all of you who, uh, patronized us on Friday. Two other things, trying to run through these relatively quickly here, the, uh, dings and dents. So I mentioned dings and dents in the past a few times. We, we do this uh, dings and dents thing on our Discord server. And so basically what that is, is items that come in damaged. Maybe the box is a little bent in, maybe it was crushed. Uh, usually really badly damaged things we send back, but things that are damaged in a minor way, we, uh, we sell to our customers on the Discord. So the, uh, we sell the dings and damage stuff on the Discord as part of a lottery, and uh, in the past week we've actually done a few clearances instead of just dings and dents. So items that maybe haven't been selling as well, we were trying to deplete some of our stock of. Uh, I think coming up there'll be a few that are items that we might only have a few left of, but they're slow sellers just trying to get stuff out, things like that. Uh, so if you are a member of the Discord or think about becoming a member of the Discord, that's a, a great reason too. And uh, the only thing you need to do in order to be a member of the Discord or in order to join is be a customer uh, and usually get an email after that first purchase. If you didn't for some reason or if it was a while ago, shoot me a, uh, a note and I will help you get you in. And the one other uh, kind of interesting thing this week is this is the first week that the Mecha Minion, Dylan, has uh, been working some hours outside of Monday and Friday, I'm expanding his hours a bit, which actually helped a lot because a ton of that display stuff ended up, that weekend was just so busy that, that we had a decent amount of stuff to do on Tuesday to catch up, even though I, I packed some over the weekend too, it was just crazy. So that's actually, it feels like that's freed me up a little bit and I'm starting to actually maybe feel that little bit of, uh, like time where I'm trying to figure out what to do with my time. Most of that's gone to the website, which is why I think I've made a lot of progress this week. But uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of a change and that's I think been a positive change and uh, I'm looking forward to being able to take that time that I, I get to figure out some other, other things going forward that I want to do. We also kicked off the uh, the skill builder challenge on the Discord server. So this is a Discord only contest. It's a kind of an informal, friendly little uh, contest. The theme this time is weathering. So we're having people do do weathered builds. It has to be a 1 144th non-real grade. So 
HG or if you happen to have a no grade or entry grade or something that would, would qualify. And uh, just a fun little contest to try to push people outside of their comfort zone and get them trying new skills, techniques, and, and the like. Okay, with that done though, let's move on to uh, restocks. Compared to last week, restocks this week are really light. We only got a couple kits in and only one really worth mentioning. And that kit is the, uh, the new real grade Xeong. The, uh, the shooting effects set isn't here yet. I expect that one will probably come in. It might even show up today if I'm lucky. And uh, if I happen to have the time, I might have those available for, re for uh, during the restock tomorrow. I might not though. This looks like it'll be a popular kit. I've seen a lot of people talking about it. I think, think they'll sell fairly quickly, uh, but we do have a bunch of them. So hopefully not so quickly that people can't get them if they're looking for them. Uh, I don't have much else to say about that one. The, uh, the other thing worth mentioning is we did restock a bunch of Tamiya stuff, uh, some paints. So there's a few colors that we had out of stock that we have in filled out our back. Um, kind of our, our backup stock for Tamiya, as well as some masking tapes, some putty, some stuff that mostly was just filling out the, uh, the back shelves, so to speak, but a few things that were out. So if you are a Tamiya fan, tool and supply wise or paint wise, check that out. We, we I believe, are fully stocked on the Tamiya acrylics paints. And uh, so definitely worth checking that out if you're looking for, for paints. Okay, let's move on to Q&A. I wanted to save a lot of time for Q&A this week because I have a bunch of questions. So Q&A, this is where I answer questions from you, the, the viewers. And uh, if you have a question you would like answered in a future video, post it down in the comments. I've got a bunch of questions, so I'm going to try to answer uh, as many of these as I can. If I don't get to your question this week, I might get to it next week. I'm going to hopefully have more questions than I can answer week to week. So that way I can uh, hopefully always have plenty of questions to answer. Uh, so the first one this week is from Josh Pontius, who says, do you think they will ever make an HG Virgo Taurus or Virgo 2 kit? I'm not totally sure. I, I really would love for them to make those kits, especially the Virgo. I, I really like the Virgo design. It's, it's pretty badass. They did make the uh, the Mercurius and Faye as P Bandai kits, so presumably a lot of the frame stuff they need exists in the the new high grade in order to make that kit. So I would hope that they would do that, but I'm not sure. I can never really predict what they're going to do. I would think that would be more likely than a Taurus kit, but they've made a Taurus in the past. I think a long time ago. I don't think anyone can find them anymore. So. Maybe they, they do it. They've been working through a lot of Gundam Wing stuff lately, so fingers crossed, maybe it happens. The next question is from Eduardo Alcoser. Hey Nick, I know you've been asked what your favorite Gundam is, but I, I'll ask what's your least favorite Gundam or MS design? So this is a, a great question. I had to I actually wandered around the warehouse for like five minutes before I started shooting, so I could uh, try to figure out what that was because I couldn't off the top of my head think of a Gundam or mobile suit that I didn't really like or that I hated or, you know, whatever that, that would be my least favorite. And uh, so this is a great question because it's kind of forcing me to think a little bit. The, uh, the one that I came up with though is the Bound Dock. And uh, I'll try to post a picture up here or something of the Bound Dock. It's just, it's kind of hokey. It's kind of weird. I see why some people like it because it's, uh, it's different, but it's just, eh, whatever. I don't, don't really care for it. Okay, next question is from Gundam Junkie. Gundam Junkie here, besides the basics, what's your go-to tools for building? So, I don't know what you consider basics. To me, most of the tools are basics. I use a good pair of nippers. God hands are my preferred nipper. I wanna try out the Dispay 3.0s because those are supposed to be pretty good too. Uh, sanding sponges. I use 3M sanding sponges mostly just because I have a ton of them that I bought, like the big bulk packs that you would use to like sand a deck or something. And uh, so I've just got tons of those. Uh, I use panel lining markers if I'm straight building. 
I will use uh, tweezers fairly often. I've just got a random set of tweezers I bought off of Amazon a few years ago for water slide decals and the like. Um, and that's mostly it, a hobby knife, a generic hobby knife or whatever. And I think it's basically the basics. I don't do any scribing yet, so I don't have any, any serious scribing tools or any of those other uh, non-basic tools, so to speak. So hopefully that's a decent answer for that one. Okay, this is a really good question. So James Clark uh, asks, he says, Celestial Beans here. I know you've answered this question in the past, but given that you are growing your business more and more, have you given any thought to sponsoring more builders? What would your process be like? What would you look for in a builder to consider for sponsorship? So this is a great question. I've been getting asked a lot. I just perpetually get asked a lot about sponsorships. And uh, this is one of those things that... Uh, I've been in a weird place thinking about this for a while and I still haven't really like gotten to where I want to be. So we've got right now, I think eight sponsored builders. We send them stuff occasionally for them to, to work on. And the whole idea of a sponsored builder and what that means has been the thing that's been kind of floating around in my head and trying to question what that is and how to, how to make sure that relationship is beneficial for Mecca Warehouse, obviously, but also beneficial for that sponsored builder and trying to figure out what makes sense there. It's, it's a really challenging kind of thing to think about. A lot of the, I tried to tie a lot of stuff to how well a builder's code works, for example. And the problem with that is that the codes start popping up on coupon sites. And now somebody who might be totally inactive and hasn't posted anything in six months could have the most significant code usage of any sponsored builder because their code happened to be on the front page of a coupon website. And now that Mecca Warehouse is getting bigger, people Google Mecca Warehouse coupon code and they find one of those coupon codes. <clears throat> so that's kind of a, a challenge to trying to figure out how well the sponsored builder thing even is working. So I've been kind of like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to sponsor builders and have it not help the business. I also don't want to sponsor builders just to sponsor builders and just throw stuff at everybody. And you can ask any of our sponsored builders. We, we've got a Discord channel for sponsored builders. The, the idea was to try to have a more, uh, a tighter group of sponsored builders that maybe interact with each other more. Maybe they work together in, in certain ways and try to have a closer relationship there. And uh, I think one, as I've become busier, that hasn't happened the way I wanted it to. And just with everything going on in the world, it's been difficult to try to figure out how to navigate that stuff. So to get back to the original question here, I would love to sponsor more builders, I think. I'm trying to figure out how to measure that, how to make it work if I need to adjust terms and uh, rearrange how that program works. Uh, for example, I don't want to be filling up a builder's backlog because technically speaking, you can't give somebody, if I'm sponsoring you and I decide to send you this, this Xeong as part of your sponsorship, I'm sending you the Xeong to build the Xeong and create content with it. I'm not sending it to you as compensation. And that's, that's really important tax wise, because if I send it to you as compensation, then you owe taxes on the value of that product. And so it's, it's a really muddy, challenging problem. And because I've been so busy, I, I've, I've kind of just kept putting it off. So hopefully as I get more time, I will go back and look deeper at the problem and figure out all those things that need to get figured out to make sure that I bring value to those I sponsor. And hopefully that uh, Mecca Warehouse benefits from that relationship as well. And uh, hopefully that makes sense. It's a, this is one of those things that I've just, every time I've, my brain has been, had some spare time, I think about the problem and it just, it gets muddier and muddier the more I think about it. So hopefully we will adjust that and uh, figure something out in the, in the future. All right. Next question is from MWG. Is there a routine of sorts that you have with your family on build night and stream nights? This is a great question. So uh, Saturday nights has become our like family movie night at home. 
uh, usually, you know, starting around maybe like five o'clock or something, five, five thirty, we sit down and watch a movie as a family, maybe, uh, eat some pizza or whatever it is that we're doing. And then, uh, you know, after that I stream, it's nothing, nothing super fancy, but it's been my way to try to get, uh, to carve out a guaranteed time I can spend with my family each week, because as I think I've pointed out a few times, I'm Mecca warehouse has me really busy all the time. I put, I don't know how many hours into this, how many more hours into the dojo. And so trying to make sure I get to, you know, see my kids and my wife and spend time with them. That's not related to working is always a good thing. All right. And, uh, I'm going to save that one for next time. So I think that's pretty much all I got this week. Um, so if you've got a question, post it down in the comments. I would be more than happy to answer it next time. Please keep them coming. I, uh, I need questions. That I think that does well to fill out these videos. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.